I got 10 years to fill a stadium, but only two minutes to fill your cranium. Humble the poet, signing in. Let me ask you something. Are you going to wait till 2016 to get your shit together? Or are you going to spend the next two months working your ass off to make 2015 the best year of your life? Beware of your friends. Why, Humble? What have you heard? I didn't hear anything. I'm sure your friends are lovely people, but still be aware. You can only make it as far as the folks you keep around you because you are a sum of those people. So if you're hanging out with a bunch of crab in a bucket ass bums, then there's a high chance that you may also be a crab in a bucket ass bum. But then again, I don't know your friends and I'm sure they're lovely people. Or are they? You're gonna know your friends better than anyone else and you're gonna know which ones are great influences and which aren't. The people we keep in our life is just as important as the food we put into our body. And all of us are doing a great job at that. And just like junk food, some of our favorite friends may be the most toxic. Well, humble, me and my friends have so much history together. We go way back. I just can't cut them off. Well, my handsome friend, you get to decide what's important to you. Your history? or your future. You also get to decide what type of friendships you want. So look around at the people you roll with and ask yourself, are these people good for me? The answer is going to be yes for some, no for others. And for those people who are a yes, devote more of your time and energy and love into being a great friend for them. And for those people who are a no, Genshi. Or at the very least, keep your distance. The direction that your life takes is nobody else's responsibility except your own. So make sure you're around the right type of people who are going to take you to where you want to go. And work on having enough self-respect and self-love to stay away from the ones who won't. Some friends will inspire you. Other friends will drain you. So pick wisely. As George Washington said, it's better to be alone than in bad company. And he's on the American $1 bill, so he's got to know what he's talking about. Well... And lastly, can you please also pay attention to the type of friend that you are? Are you helping people to get to where they need to go? Or are you holding people back too? The best way to attract quality friends is by being a quality friend yourself. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. If you like the way I think or the things I say, check out my book, Unlearn. You can get yourself a copy at unlearn101.com or Amazon or Barnes & Noble or anywhere else that sells books online. Also, if you don't like reading or you don't want to pay for shipping, you can get it in audiobook format where I read it to you in my sexy, mumbly voice. And that's available at unlearnaudio.com. I've been working tirelessly on a new book and in mid-November, I will be able to announce when you'll be able to start pre-ordering it. So you'll get a chance to get signed copies that you can give away as gifts for Christmas. Please share this video with those people you care about and the people that you don't. Either way, I appreciate you spreading the word. Much love. It's tricky in a romantic relationship to look at some of the practical things that may come in handy when spending the long term with somebody. And by long term, I mean the rest of your life. That gave me the heebie-jeebies. Those practical elements include stuff like money, family health history, education, worldview. Are they team Jacob or team Edward? With the arranged marriage, you're kind of going through a resume process and looking at a lot of these practical elements before you even meet the person. And that does a great job of addressing these things before our emotions and feelings get involved. And that can significantly reduce reduce incompatibility. Because as much as the fairy tales want to lie to you, love is not a glue strong enough to make a long-term marriage last. You're going to need some practicality to hold that together as well.